Hello and welcome to Infinity. I'm going to do an edit of this picture using the shifters macros, uh, which uh, you can find via the links down below here. And let's start off with the 3M dominance shift. And what this does is, if I start by going here, is you can separately adjust the maximum, minimum, and middle uh, color in terms of whether there it's the got the greatest value or not. So if you change the maximum, then it's going to be the the color which has the greatest effect on colors in the picture. So if we take this for example and we turn this up, you can see the colors getting very dominant quickly. This works well on pictures where you've got areas of one particular color being dominant as you have in this. Although, look, if you look down here, this area here is, is not, and there's a bit over there as well. Uh, and that is, is uh, unhelpful. You just have to mask that out. So what we've effectively done here, you can see you can brighten this up. Yeah, and if, if you bring this down, this sort of softens it down a bit, that second one. So there's a brightening of those dominant colors. And then we'll take a paintbrush and in black we can paint over these areas here to just basically remove the effect in that and that area down there I can paint down that as well and that just basically cancels out the effect we've got here. Next how about um let's do the histogram squeeze and shift. And I'm going to turn off the that brightening here just for a moment to show you what we're doing. That is that if I double click on this, then if I go to the left, it squeezes. If I go to the right, it stretches out. And you can use this for for you can see that brightens the picture in itself. Or you can do it using the shift as well. So if I go halfway down there, so this is now half its size, and go halfway up here. And that shifts that up to here. Then it looks a bit odd, but if we change the blend mode to something like overlay, what we've done is we've brightened up the picture. And that looks, you know, quite a significant difference. Note the difference between that and that. It's just lightened it up quite nicely without effectively burning out the whites. Now, if we add in the 3M dominance, we add a bit more colour to it. If it's a bit much, any one of these going, I think that's actually going too far. And I can just bring it down a bit using the opacity as a kind of like volume control on it. Okay. So last of all, let's try the, what we missed, the RGB shift. That's gone on there. I'm going to drag that up to the top so you can see it. Double click on that to you do it. And this is going to push the colors now. So if I go this way, so it's put reds into everything. So you can be very careful and subtle with it. In fact, if it's, you know, it moves a bit, it changes a lot, then you can use the fine control. So I'll push the reds just up a bit here. Um, the green, that green is a bit, bit dominant there. So I'm going to bring that sort of down a bit. There we go. And the yellows and blues, how is that going to be like? Let's. So that's a take. So taking the yellow down there out a bit. No, no, I don't think I'm happy with anything with that. So that's done a little bit of a tweak as well. So if I shift click to select all of those, then turn that on. So that's the original picture, which looked colourful, but now it looks dull because now we turn this up here and it's like a very bright and colourful picture. And again, if we think we've gone too far with something, we can play with the opacity on any of these just to bring it down to something that seems a little bit more realistic. Anyway, there you go. That's the gist using all three of them to really bring out the colours and different aspects of them. And thank you very much for watching.